So part two, I've gone through and I've traced my frogs onto wax paper, freezer paper, and I am now going to uh, peel them. So for my back, what I did was I actually sewed two pieces together to get my back uh, because I didn't have a big enough piece. So I sewed two pieces together to get my back. So he has a seam down his belly, which I actually kind of like. Um, I don't know why I'm being so fussy with all of this, but I am. And then for the front, I did for the front two pieces, I used my African print fabric. I used my African print fabric and I just peel this backing, this off, and I can reuse this a number of times um, to make another frog. I have to make at least two, one for each young grandson. My older grands are nine and eleven or something like that so I don't think they want a frog but anyway so this I love this print it's so cute anyway so we're going to turn this over and we're going to sew this down now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put safety eyes on mines instead of button eyes so once I sew this seam, then I will position my eyes on the front here. And I know I probably should make that, but you know, that's the front. And I'm going to position my eyes on the front. And then I'm going to sew it together and leave a space open on the side. And you can fill it with plastic pellets, with rice. Um, I've even used gravel from the fish tank. You know, wash it real good and um, put it inside. The only thing with that is it does make it quite heavy. And that would be fine if you were going to use it for a doorstop or something like that. Uh, rice or beans. And then you could put it in the microwave and use it as a heating frog. Ha! Huh. Anyway, okay, I'm going to go ahead and sew this together, put my safety eyes on, and I'm going to find some pellets or some gravel and fill it up.